In this video, I'm going to show you how to get audiobooks for free off Audible JP using the two-month free trial. If that piques your interest, stick through the whole video and I'll guide you through. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Jozu Jewels. I aim to share tips and tricks while learning Japanese with the goal of documenting my progress while helping you save time. So if that sounds up your alley, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads. Audiobooks are one of the best ways to immerse in Japanese. As Matt vs. Japan puts it, I used to think that audiobooks were the most pure form of Japanese pop. So, I've been learning Japanese for a little over a year now, and I've recently got a hold of my first light novel. The thing is though, I hate reading and would much prefer listening instead. Fortunately, I found the audiobook version of the exact book that I'm reading right now on Audible via Amazon. So, in order for you to get your Japanese audiobooks, step one, let's find your light novel. Searching in English is probably not going to give you the result you want. So find the Japanese title of your book and type in Amazon after it. For this video, I'll be using Seishun Butairo as an example since it's the one I have right now. What you're looking for is a link to Amazon.co.jp, not just the regular Amazon.com, but .jp. Once you find it, step two is to see if it even has an audiobook version available. If it does, it should look like this. You can see here that it says you can get the audiobook for free if you sign up using an Audible trial. However, this trial is only applicable for new users. That means that in order to get these books for free, you will need a new account that has never used Audible before so you can take advantage of the two month free trial. If you don't want to pay for anything, remember to unsubscribe after two months so it doesn't automatically charge you 1,500 yen per month. I suggest making a calendar note to remind yourself to unsubscribe as well as looking up the process beforehand because Amazon makes it notoriously difficult to unsubscribe from things. Once you've found your book of interest and it does have an audiobook version, don't make the same mistake that I did and make sure it's actually released. As you can see, this particular one says that it comes out on November 26th, which is today, funnily enough. If you sign up before the book is available, your free trial may expire before the book is available. If the audiobook is available and released, create a new account by clicking on the try a two month free trial button up here. Make sure that the URL you're entering your information into is actually amazon.co.jp and not some phishing website. So hit create your Amazon account and enter in some basic information. For this video, I'm just going to be entering some random information. When it asks you to add a mobile number, you will need to add your mobile number. Then it's going to ask for your credit card information. Enter in your banking information. And when you reach a field that asks for your address, this is what you're going to need to do. First of all, just, just fill in the information as you would normally would on any other website that isn't Amazon JP. If you do all this correctly, you may be brought back to this menu of the audiobook, but you may see that the free trial offer is no longer available. Now, what's going on here? Well, it turns out that the free trial for Audible is only available for people with a Japanese address. And since you just entered in your banking information, which does not have a Japanese address, Amazon automatically noted down your address as has the same address as your banking information. What we'll have to do is go up to the top right, hit your account, and this new menu will go to your addresses. If you've entered in your banking information, you should see your address here, hit edit and try to change your address. We're gonna enter in a Japanese address that you can get for free that will not match your credit card. This doesn't matter and it will still work. However, I've heard that sometimes Amazon tries to automatically change this address back to your credit card address. If that happens, simply come back and do this step again and re-enter your Japanese address. Okay, how do we get a Japanese address? The easiest solution is to go onto Tenso.com. Here you can apply for a free Japanese address. So go to Tenso.com linked in the description and create an account by hitting the create a new user account that's up here on the green button. If you're struggling to navigate around the site, you can also change the language of the site up here on the top right. Once you reach this page, you can create a new account using your Facebook account or an email address. So I'm just gonna use my fake email address from before. Then it will send an email to your email right here. And in this email, there will be a link. Click on this link and it will ask you for some personal information. The first box here asks for your name in kanji. If you do not have a kanji name, just enter in uh, your English name. The second field asks for your name in Romaji. So it's gonna be the same thing. My name is not Bob Sapp, by the way. Enter in your birthday here. This next box asks for your country and location. And finally, these two fields ask for your password. This box asks if you wanna receive marketing emails, hit the I don't want to receive button. And finally, this is the policy of what can and cannot be shipped. We're just going to check all of these. Then hit the orange button to confirm everything. Double check that all your information is correct. Then hit register. You will now be presented with your new Japanese address. 
Now let me run you through how to enter in this information. Going back to Amazon, our country and region is going to be Japan. Our full name is going to be our full name. Our phone number is going to be whatever our phone number is. It doesn't have to be a Japanese phone number. Now let's get to the address part, postal code. Japanese postal codes are formatted like this. They have three numbers at first, then a dash, and then four numbers. So on Tenso, it should be your first line. It's the numbers followed after the te-like symbol. You do not need to enter in the dash as it's automatically placed there. For the prefecture, you must look at the second line here. If you cannot read this, what you can do is right click on the window and hit translate to English. And it should make the prefecture pretty obvious. I'm gonna bet you most of the time it's going to be Tokyo. For city, ward, town, enter in all the stuff between your prefecture and the ending numbers. For kome, banchi, go, enter in the numbers at the end of the address. For the building, apartment, slash company name, we can enter in Tenso Komu and ignore the unit slash room number. Now hit add address. Once you've saved that address, you should see it available here. Once you've done all of this, you can go back to the page where your book is listed and you should be able to see that the two month free trial button is now available. Once you've claimed the free trial, you can now hit go to my audible library. And to start listening to your new free audiobook, you can click on Imasugu Kiku. Oh. I hope this video was able to help you and if it did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I'll be releasing more tips like this as I go along my Japanese learning journey and find out new things just like this. Thanks for watching. Cheers.